Clive hired to run production um, a guy called Graham Mabbott, who used to be at Island Records, who was a bit of a train spotter type. And he came from Northampton, and we had him at Island Records. And when Clive hired him, um, we didn't want to, Clive didn't want to give him a flash car. I happenstance, I spot him on the M1 in a metro. So I said to Clive, off from a metro. He said, I can't, I can't. Do, do, do. So he did, and he went, oh yes, can I have a metro? Lovely. Can I have an MG metro? So he got this MG metro, and he'd started, and it was just about the days when computers were arriving, and I spotted in a meeting, he was writing down his production figures in a little logbook, like so many sleeves, so many labels, so many vinyl. And then I spotted 62 MPG. So from Northampton, back, he's writing down his miles. So I got his petrol cap key off the service manager and a jerry can, and we started filling him up every day, topping up Graham Abbott. And about six of us at the back of the office would watch him leave every day, and he'd get in his metro and tap the dashboard, not believe it. And after about a week and a half, maybe two weeks, we're in a meeting, and Graham's looking at me, I said, what's wrong, Graham? He says, my metro. Well, what is it? He said, it's doing 200 to the gallon. And I said, don't be an arse, you've lost it. So we ran it, for, and we got it up to 300 to the gallon the following week, and he rang, he rang Le British Leyland and said he had a metro doing 300 to the gallon. <laughs> and that was absolute certainty. And by this time, there's six of us out the back every night trying to hold our stomachs as he left <laughs> to Northampton every day. And then after four weeks, we drained everything out by half a gallon. He ran out at Milton Keynes on the way home. <laughs> to this day, he still doesn't know why that Metro was doing 300 to the gallon. But those sort of things were quite the norm then in record companies. And it, it was such a fun environment that you'd find people would do whatever necessary to get the job done, but at the same time have fun. <laughs> I hope he never sees this, because he still doesn't know why it happened.